Earlier this week I was having some fun with Autodesk Character Generator and I decided to put this in a quick video to show its interoperability with 3ds Max. If you haven't heard of Character Generator, it's basically a cloud subscription thing on Autodesk. You sign in. Um, what you do, there, uh, before I get into that, there's a nice uh, area web page that shows a lot of the features of it. And all the way down at the bottom it shows the differences between the free and the paid version. And I'll get into that in a little bit. But I'm logged in as myself uh, over here. And you can see that I've got all these different ways of customizing a character. I'm not going to get into this too much because it's pretty self-explanatory. The one thing I did want to point out is some of these up here you can see have a little icon up here and that means that they're only part of the paid subscription. And if I jump back uh, real quick here, the paid versus free, there's just some things that are enabled. The paid version is 50 bucks a year. So that's basically the difference. What you can ultimately do is you get in here and then you uh, generate your character and then once it's finished you have a series of characters that are available for export and depending on if you're paying or not you get more options for export higher resolution and so on but ultimately what I'm going to do is go over into 3ds max and take the result of one of these so here's a character downloaded if I double click on this uh, file you can see it opens up as an FBX it is the way that it came out and there's a skeleton already uh, applied to this character but it's not in a format that's uh, specific to 3ds max so if I just drag and drop this into max and import the FBX file. It's a standard FBX import and you can see over there on the right that I've got um, editable poly. In this case I did use the paid version so I have a morpher modifier. If I get right in on this character's face and turn off the, um, well if I just get in on the character's face for a second and you can see that I've got morph targets for all kinds of you know talking and singing whatever but I'm not going to get into that for now what I wanted to show you is uh, a script that comes with the download so if I run a script and just do this character generator FBX to biped what's going to happen is my scene is going to automatically be converted so that this isn't this is no longer an FBX rig uh, with just skin and bones but this says uh, the biped is complete and now if you turn off the character's geometry you can see that it is in fact a character studio biped and this has all the great things for doing things like motion capture and if I load in a, a biped clip or any other type of uh, motion capture data you can see that now this is in fact a nice motion capture clip and if I turn off the geometry and turn off the bones and maybe helper objects you can see that we've got now very simple uh, motion capture applied to this character whoops let me just delete that light that came in with our FBX and the other, one other thing that I might mention here is that uh, you can see that the character is a little bit shiny if you go into the material um, by default they come in a little bit shiny for my taste so I can just bring back the specularity and so on and show those you know in the viewport on hardware if I want to so now I've got a uh, you know nice biped rig that's full scale and I can do all kinds of uh, fun animation stuff with it so that's a quick look at Autodesk character generator whether you're using the free or the $50 a year version is kind of up to you um, but you can build unlimited characters of all different crazy types and have fun with that inside of uh, 3ds Max using biped. Thanks.